Mm -hmm. It is. I will soak it up now and show you. Happy, sp happy spring. No man, it's the tenth month. That's no, October. Never mind. Because the thing says the ninth month, and I'm like, no, it's the tenth. Oh, okay, that is that is October. Anyway, cool. So, Joe. I know it's September, just I think the, the 10th month of September for some reason. 10 in September, don't know why. 10 reminds me of a 10. Uh, September reminds me of a 10 for some reason. The mayor of... Fancy writing. The mayor of fancy writing. Sup, awesome. Wait, is this on Subchat? La da 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 Aubrey! Good morning! Aubrey, I feel kind of bad. I just put it on Snapchat. Aubrey, I'm going to pretty much leave it there, if you're still even here. Um, just because, otherwise, I've got too many subs who like to chat to me, and then the other people pull in. They're just too much. Too much, too much! Oh, who is this? Aubrey, thank you so much. That's your way of saying, don't, don't worry, Garth. Don't feel bad. I hope that's what you're saying. Yeah, no, it's not. It is. I know it is. I know it is. You know I'm I can read it. I wonder how you're doing. How your child is doing. Probably walking by now. It's like, what do you mean? God, it's I finished high school. What? <laughs> Has it been that long? <laughs> I thought it was just been like two years <laughs> or a year and a half. Na, na, da, na, na. Okay, Aubrey, I'm gonna take it off Snapchat. Literally for a nanosecond for you to say if you want to say anything, hi, bye, whatever that kind of thing. And I'm putting it back on straight away. And don't forget to put it back on, God. Hello, Karen, so Karen, I literally just took it off Snapchat for a nanosecond, just in case Aubrey wants to say hi or something, and I'm going to put it straight back on Snapchat, and then Karen, that's, that's the end of that, I know I say that all every day, but sounds good, a little baby daddy, not so nice, Rad. and I hope you're doing good, you're too soon, I thought so, oh, that's, that's the age I was thinking, congratulations again, that was really cool. Cool. Oh no, okay, okay, cool. Okay, actually, I'll I'll turn it back to Snapchat now. Just I think it needs a minute. Just followed me. Thank you. Thank you so much for the follow. No, no, no. Christelle. Where's Christelle? Christelle, there it is. No, no, no. Mm -mm. This is magnesium. If anyone's interested. My wife calls it ch Chidori juice. Because it sounds like birds. You know, that's not, I can't actually impersonate it right now, but it sounds like birds. That's Chidori. Is Chidori in Japanese, eh? I know, but Japanese means Chidori. It doesn't mean like starling or another kind of bird. I'm just wondering. Uh, well, you, why, why speculate? This is the beauty of the internet. Every day? It means a thousand birds. It means, okay, it means a thousand. So then Dory, Dory means bird. And she means a thousand. I bet you it does. So she probably does mean a thousand lights. It has been a day full of happy tears. Thank you, Tracy! Um, Corin, Corin, is it one of those internal in a clearing? More clearing, clearing, energy clearing than, than you know, Somebody said something to you and then now the pieces, the pieces are right and now the thing's okay and now the, the real, you know, it's not one of those, it's more in, you're clearing and you're, you're having realizations through clarity, that kind of thing. So make sure I'm right. What's up, Tracy? Thank you so much, Tracy. I really needed that, Tracy. I slept bad. Not really. I still need it. I still need a cat, a cat, cat, a cat pop massage. Thank you so much. Da, 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 da. And happy well autumn. Yeah, you guys. It's autumn. Well, you guys. No, you guys are still on that side of the. You got. We're in, we're in two different seasons, guys. This is incredible. We're always in two different seasons. Oh, never mind. No, wait. Are we in the same season? No. God, calm down. Sorry. <laughs> That's my like right brain, left brain throwing tennis ball back and forth, really fast, getting excited. No, wait, wait. What are we now? I'm in spring. You guys are coming out of summer. Damn it. We're two worlds apart. Peaceful existence today. That is so cool, Tracy. That is so funny. 
Because I right now try to try to you know because you gave me the gift and I was trying to tap into your energy and then say something to you that you could go cool, but it was just flat like a flat crystal pond. So it's like there's nothing, there's nothing to say obviously it's so calm and nice that's rad that's kind of what you want. Anything one would say would be to bring that about. And it's, yeah, it's funny. The angle of incident, when you look at that, that, that pond that I can see, that reflection, if you get like really down to one degree horizon, it's just silver. It's like, it's like you don't get to see a thing reflected. You see the silver reflection. And then the more you go up in like your angle of the, of the lake, the more then it blends sky, the lake's reflection, and the realization that they, they mirror each other, and that you're looking through parallax at the reflection and at the sky, and there's just like a sense of one's own inner plane, because it is, external is internal. That's what I'm going to start doing from today, from the 1st of September. No more, no more dualistic talk. No more outside-inside talk. Love yourself. You, you, you're facing the right direction. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's so good, guys. It started already. But then, oh, wait, wait, why is it when I face? That's so interesting, Sierra. I wonder if he's um, sensitive to, like, when you, when you, when you focus on Lata, you, you, do you focus one win or do you focus, do you daydream about all the what you do with the money? Sierra, it's very important. You need to look at that. Because if you're doing the, get the numbers, win, da, 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 it'd be so good. And then you get anxiety attached to the, the feeling of, oh, if I get the money, then I can do these things, I can buy this. As opposed to the, oh, and then I can, I can buy that and, and have it delivered to that person. And then oh, I can pay for us to go on a holiday to that. It, are you thinking of it like the money's already in the account and you're busy spending it? You must do it that way. You can't do it the other way around. Because he might pick up on the other way around and it may come off as as an uncontented energy you're not working with what it is. And he might be that sensitive. Suddenly in the mood because you're actually giving off waves of less content. Not that everyone's supposed to give off content. That's why relationships are hectic. Because you really are either seeing through yourself in the other person. Or you're lending invisible energies from each other. And actually potentially infecting each other with contradictory programs technically. It's static, it's chaos. We want to know ourselves for ourselves and be able to still ourselves so we know where we begin and where we end. You do day now keep doing that, Sierra. Keep doing that. Keep doing that, the daydream one. And then smile at it, like that feeling of carefreeness. You want to cultivate those feelings. Tracy, thank you so much. I missed such an opportunity now. Oh man, I love the perfume for the what's that? <laughs> You're right realizations and gratitude for it all it's, it's everything exactly that Karen. i think it's so funny because the the alignment gives off a bliss that is as good as anything that you get when you get something basically but again it doesn't mean you don't get showered with presence from the universe because you are present present and joyful i just like the the you know, that attachmentless joy, the, the priceless joy. The, it's not attached to a label. I got the skateboard, now I'm happy. It's, I'm happy because I know the ultimate backstory. Your Sierra, Sierra, because it comes down to tenderness. We're all ridiculously sensitive creatures. And when we got money, it's easier not to be sensitive to each other. There is no money. It's all, everything is, this whole we all world is a placebo and the physicality is just an excuse for us to show each other love. And it's really hard to remember each other when we've got all these things in the way. When I say each other, it's the self that you can see in the other. If you treat the self right and the other right. But then in two wrongs make a right and the other should do it to me. And then it's just that, turns into that. Which is just you fighting your karmic balance, your, your average karmic level. Mm, your karmic power level. You're jousting it. Expecting it to purify you when you are the alone singularity of it all. 
So to Sierra Edge very much, very much could be, you know what I mean? It's, in, it's not going to make him any more secure, and it's, it's not going to make you any more sensitive to his insecurities, and there's a fine line between caring and playing to people's bullshit. It's a fine line, and we, our ego is going to, every, every moment is going to say, nope, it's, it's him, blah, 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 and he's wrong, and then you're just going to victimize him, him and you. You're going to spin the story like you're both, like you're the thingy, and he's the, he should get it differently. And, and that, in that exact moment, you are literally in his position doing the same thing from his point of view. It's a catch-22. It's a catch-22. So you have to breathe easy and release, psychologically release yourself and everyone else. And then, and then, they, then the world does it at the same time. It's very, it seems counterintuitive. Oh God, welcome to the live. Let me finish my magnesium. Have you drank your magnesium? But you just reminded me to do it. Did you finish drinking your magnesium? Oh. The magnesium. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? You have magnesium so you can sleep better and stuff. I'm like, I don't know. I slept so well. I don't know if I slept well. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I've had it, yeah, we've had it for like four days, five days now. Also got vitamin C and all that other stuff and it does well. I can't make him secure with me himself. Only he can do that. I'm not okay with that. Exactly. Now imagine someone said, the world said that to you right now. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not, it's not loving. It's like, and the thing is, we, we, we pick up the relationship at the level of our own reflection. So in other words, if you, Sierra, were having a psychological wobble in life or showed any signs of it, your partner would be like, oh, she's not my problem. I can't deal with that. Blah, 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 blah. Only she can fix herself. And you're going to go, ow, don't say that. Fix me. Love me. Just love me unconditionally. Don't criticize me and don't make it hard when it's hard. When I'm, when I'm struggling, do I make it harder on me? You know, you don't make it harder on me. Relationships. Relationship. So it's, that's the dynamic. Rather know it than not know it and then try and fix it. And then, you know, by, by thinking it, not knowing, you're still dealing with yourself and then, then getting upset because you tried. And then getting up, then going back and forth, back and forth. And really, it's just a real-time mirror. A lesson of better self-maintenance. Consistent, consistent. Yo, what's up, dude? What's up, Curtis? Really good. Really, really good. No, no, don't. Anything you say logically, Sierra, is just you convincing yourself that you did do a part and he didn't, didn't do his part. It's that simple. And it's equals. Equals as long as you're in the relationship. Mm. So now, have you read this lesson prophecy? Do you know how to play into poor me? Do you, know how to, do you know how to feed it so that it feeds you? It shows you, what, it shows you yourself when you actually give the energy. You do a, a desert energy loop. You actually listen to yourself. He's your masculine. He's your masculine. So you, you literally go, you, you read this living prophecy and then, and then think it. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how relationships work. You know that's the dynamic. You've got a choice to either transmute it as yourself, unconditional love. Is anyone capable of unconditional love? If we can't give ourselves unconditional love. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, Sierra. At that, at that point, Sierra, there's no, there's no like, listen here, I'm willing to meet you in the middle, I'm willing to be sweet and nice, and I'm willing to not say anything harsh, but then you got to respect boundaries and respect certain things and also not push. And he's not going to not. So I don't know what to say. You know, is it really over? I want to be rude. Oh man, I'm going to be rude now. <laughs> I said, we're to say to somebody, to say, you can do better. It's really rude to say that to somebody. Everyone can do better. But you know what I mean? Because I still see it as an impersonal energy. I don't see I don't see a Sierra and a him. 
and I, and I won't talk from that point of view because if I look at his Akashic and your Akashic long enough, you've got a you've got a, a shared a shared origin. So you just got to come down to the decision of what are your healthy boundaries and just make the decision off of that. It's not, if it's if it's if it's if it's thingy comparisons, I can't in good faith tell you how much writer and better and brillianter you are than him. But even if you are, because you're cognitizing and you're actualizing and you're making the right decisions, he seems to to lean into empowerment through the wrong direction. And it's it might just be the 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 thing of reinforcing how right you are when it comes to what your sensibilities are. Because you do, Sierra, you with that said, you do try and look at it from everyone's point of view and you do try and shake it up and you do da 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 da. So I, do, I know I just I just think you now I'm agreeing with you, but I'm going I'm going basically basically down to the mind, base mind. To, to agree with you because from that point of view, if you if everyone had to watch watch the relationship, from beginning to now. You get a whole bunch of people going, girl, da, 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 leave that man, do 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 do, do. work on yourself, you got because you because you you are. You, you're like you're enlightened. You're brilliant. You're talented. You're gifted. You're da, 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 da. You want to work with the positive piece. You want to contribute to. You want to. Da, da, da. You don't want to da, 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 take. You know you're right. You're okay. I'm just arguing devil's eloquent technically because I know that everything is the same blank soul and it can it can come about to the same realization. At the end of the day, Sierra, love Sierra. And maybe you don't know, you know what I mean? We we got a relationships karmic lesson, so we then get shown how. So you're like, that's what I said, God. We just, we just went and spoke for 15 minutes in, in a giant circle. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Good magnesium. Tracy, thank you so much for the roses. Scully, thank you. Oh, money gun, Tracy. I did that yesterday. Ah. Mm. Tracy, I love you. I didn't bring my Moccasin. What do you wear in the rain? Your moccasins. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You're brave, mom, and you're strong. That's what your old daughter is saying to you right now. She's like, you're brave and you're strong. And you are. It is, there is a strength there. There is a strength there. There is. You, you know what I mean? A lot of people are like, okay, I'm not going to uh, think it now. I'll stick with him just for now. It's safer that way. I haven't met anyone else yet. Maybe I'll meet someone else. Then I'll decide, or, you know, that kind of thing. There is, there's a brave and it's, it's you're, you're honoring your energy at the end of the day. It's not easy to get in or out of a relationship necessarily. And so... You honor the self first if you if you decided it's over and you want out. You really are honoring yourself. And there's a bravery there and it's it needs to be honored. It's great, Sierra. Mm. Up to the last night, so slow the lows. Sleep so well, Tracy. Thank you, she's gone already. Thank you so much for the gifts. It's actually uncanny the amount of times I've had the opportunity to manifest it. Yeah, that's fucking irritating. That's irritating, Sierra. Because at this point, as a spiritual being, you're trying to create abundance for your children. And it's like, he's, he's, he comes along and he's like, basically pushes the cauldron over or messes your magic up. And like walks through, walks through it and kicks, kicks all the sigils all over the place. You're like, hello, I'm trying to manifest abundance for us. Do you mind? Smile. Be happy. Don't upset me. I mean, don't upset me. <laughs> you know, you, you know, you, Sierra, you, Sierra, you know, you know, you know, you know, eh? and you know, you know better than me. If anything, I'm a, like a window, lean, clean, you can polish some stuff up, put some originality forward. You must be onto anything in this world, Sierra, trust yourself. That silent place in you, that natural, that natural, da, 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 da. It's never, ever going to actually lead you anywhere wrong. And you might have to pick up some things along the journey. You know what I mean? Some insights. And you'll meet certain people, make some detours that seem like, you know, a waste, but they weren't. 
At least you say they are. <laughs> You're never wrong. Yeah, no, self confidence, self love, and actually listening. The, the the learning to value that thing where you actually listen to yourself. And then sometimes you can get, you know, out of five, out of five journeys, you get taken on a, on a wasted journey, but that's just got to do with, do you back yourself even if you're wrong? In essence, I just, you know what I'm trying to say? How many, how, what degrees of right and wrong are there? Is there, is there are there principles, you know? Because you're trying to keep the, the, the whole, the positive, the levity of it. Thank you so much. You subscribed. Let's go. What a way to start the month. Um, uh, um, fellow Viking. I don't know what that writing means. Uh, is it backwards? It's Idrisilic. That's not a language. It is Idrisilic. It's the writing on the tree. Idrisil. Idrisilic. No. It, yeah, that word means... Yeah, it's actually going to read it backwards and upside down. It's Yalile. What does that mean? It means the great warrior from beyond the clouds. Good morning, Monica. What's up? I went outside. There was a vibe in the room. Sierra, what's, what state again are you in? And and what is the uh, what is the jackpot if I can ask? And that's what you oh you got to do as well, Sierra. Sierra, listen to this. Say when you do win, okay? Um, do you have a real job? I love you. This is my real job. You literally my boss. I love that. I love that because you usually get that like, you get that question and you think it's a get a job. Do you have a job? What is it being like you do in this world? And and you think it's that, but there are going to be people who are like, what do you do? What do you do? Like, and they just want to know. And you know if someone subscribed to you and asks you, they got to be cool. What a wonderful thing. You're like, no, I just wanted to talk to you. Oh. Cool. So I'm basically a, I'm a I, my background is comedy, comedian, you know, class clown, da, 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 Jim Carrey, blah, blah, blah. Um, but basically the nature of reality, a mystic, you know, I'm psychic, clairvoyant. I don't know if you heard about the Akashic Records. Is it 800 and flip and shizzle and da, da, da. Sierra? Really, Sierra, get real. Do you feel it? Feel eight six hundred eighty one million dollars. Tell me, yeah, no worries. I'll be good. You're lying if you say that. I'm not, and I'm, I'm I apologize if I called you a liar if you're not a liar. But you are a liar if you don't actually feel that money in your bank account right now and go, hmm, 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 hmm. No, this isn't happening. You're the best, Hannah. I just got two subscribers. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not cool. I want to get a real job. You're not funny. You're not Jim Carrey. You're nothing. I love you so much. No, the thing is, it's not about being Jim Carrey. There is no Jim Carrey. You know what the nature of reality is. You know what God is. I love this so much. I got a subscriber who said I'm not. I'm not cool. I, I want you to get a real job. That's so funny. And I'm not funny, and I'm not Jim Carrey. So there's an E after the R. That's so funny. You told me you were I'm nothing. I'm nothing. And it's sad because I need to get a real job. They literally just paid my salary. Uh-huh. It's Curtis. He's guru, teacher, mentor. Thank you. Wait until Curtis meets Curtis. Curtis, you should see your Akashic, your record, your records. It's a, it's, you, with you, it's a, an Akashic record. Like you, your great achievements in parallel lifetimes, Curtis. I'm glad you gave us the courtesy of visiting Earth and gracing us with your incarnation. Sincerely, Curtis. Um, your reading happens directly after this. Eight dollars is your salary. So, so how many subscribers do I have? I like you so much. I like you so so this is and this and that's what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh God, I like Garth. I can't like I can't dislike him. He stays positive when I hate him. I need more people like Garth in my life. I like you too, Yidrasil, whatever your name is. Anyway, so eight dollars times how much? Fifty seven. How much is that? You have two hundred and fifty eight K. But only thingy viewers. Yeah, I know, because I'm subscribers. I'm I'm on subscriber chat only. You know what I'm saying? 
And it's about the Tom, the cash. Are you in America? I think you are. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in South Africa, and then the dollar exchange rate story is huge. So it's like a lot of money, basically. It's a, lot, it's a salary. It's a salary. It's a, it's a base salary. The subscriber alone, let alone the gifts. And then I also get, I do psychic readings and stuff. I do one-on-ones as well. No, this is heaven. I'm in heaven. Hang out with myself every day and remind myself that everyone else is God. You know what I'm saying? I could do I could, never mind. Anyway, thank you so much for the subscription. What a wonderful, novel, cool, rad situation. I make about 900 a week rad and you make 900 a month. Every other month, uh, maybe 17, get a job. No, but I'm in South Africa. You're in America. The cost of living is hectic. It's like 2.2, 2.5 times more. And that's without the exchange rate, which is like 19, say 18, 19. You have to in America. Because, you know what I mean? You have to achieve and you have to have money. Otherwise, everyone there will judge you. It feels jarring. Excited about the center. Good, uh, Sierra. you got to feel that. I don't know how you... It's crazy money, Sierra. It, you will literally... I'll get a jet if I want a jet. Prior flight everywhere. I can have estates. Multiple estates, give strangers homes. It's ridiculous. Six hundred. It's a ridiculous number of cash. Here, I'd be a billionaire, literally a multi-billionaire. Because the buying power does it. It translates. So yeah. So the seventeen. So really, that's amazing. So then, this person who subscribed now. How long have you have winners with me? Saw my videos. So you make 900 a week. Is that good? Oh, Sierra. Dogs. Dog walking. I'm not saying you should, but you could. There's in such a thing. As in, I saw this thing where uh, 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 literally 10 dogs a day is your goal. $15 a dog, $150 a day, $6,000 a month. You go for a walk. It's a legit business. You put out flyers. You put out like 2,000 flies in, in, your, in your area. Could probably hire your boyfriend if you need to get extra, if extra walkers. You make 600 a week. That, but isn't that good? I just subscribed periodically, of course. Thank you so much, Anna. <gasps> no! No! Kerry, Kerry, I saw Sierra in a vision becoming a, like a dog walker mogul where she makes good money, like good Tom. She doesn't pay tax because it's only because she doesn't make a profit because she's got people on the payroll. Anyway, and then Hannah, who subscribed you, Hannah Ray of Sunshine, she she just goes, I walk dogs. I'm a dog walker. Wow. As I'm talking about, do you see how the universe will meet you? It'll meet you at your sync. It'll sync with you. It really does. You just got to become cognitive and grateful to the synchronizations. That's me being leisurely. It's, that's what I'm saying. Hannah's legendary. Home sitting is so clever. So clever. Because you do, you get paid a little bit. You used to not get paid. You used to just feed you. Now you get paid. You get paid a daily rate and you get to live in a different environment. It's great. My sister and daddy, they're a lot of house sitting. But that's also because you get good with the pets. And the pets even get to know you if you've house sit more than once the same venue, then the pets will remember you. And then they make bank. They make bank. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and a Reiki master. That's what I'm talking about. I can imagine. Which is so cool. Like you go, listen, I need a bit of extra cash. I need to put a Reiki course together. Advertise it and go on tour. Because it is with Reiki, you do the course and you practice it for a year to get your, your Reiki masters, don't you? Oh yeah, I know, Sierra, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Everything is a cynical impossibility and it won't work. So you go, listen, I'm into the dog walking thing and you start designing pamphlets and you decide, well, come up with a way to let everyone in your neighborhood know, in the area know. He's, it's not going to work. There's really dog walkers. I just walk my own dog. And you're like, fuck, it's so annoying. It is annoying. It makes me want to like punch my laptop. It is a fucking annoying. I'm, I'm Sierra, you know. I'm like, Sierra. Da, 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 da. I am so sensitive to that. You can't even joke that you're irritated and I'll be like, why are you getting upset with me? I don't do anything. Transmute your attention and attitude. 
Leave me alone. I'm hectic. I guess I'll go hide in the cupboard rather than talk to a stranger and argue about nothing. Don't be negative around me. No, I'm straight up, I'm closed, I'm autistic, I'll start screaming. And I won't actually, but it feels like I should, that's the only response. Someone's negative, I'll go, ah, I just start screaming in their face. What's wrong? I don't know. It's the only way I know how to translate your negativity. Uh, I see the look on my hand, and it made me so unhappy to even... Curtis, it's a funny one, eh? Money can really, you get a, a windfall of cash, you start spending it, and you it actually, it still spends your energy. It's very interesting. Money is a fascinating thing. So you go one, two, and then a master of the course of a year. Brilliant. Yeah, that's the way you've done exactly. Honey, Jean. About tuning yourself to the frequencies. Uh, and you gave most of it away. No, but the thing is, Curtis, if you if you could ensure that your basics were going to be looked after, and you would be insured, like you have a, a, a like an investment, and then you know it's this my salary every year, or every month because that's my interest that comes off of it with my tax paid, and you know it's set there, and then you went and did something and made money, you would get more joy giving that a hundred dollar per hundred dollar. You'd get more joy giving it to somebody who can appreciate it as opposed to your par level of. Hundred dollar appreciation, and literally the universe will have to invent ways to bring that same joy. Not that you're going to do it for that reason, but the universe will have to come up with the reasons to create the same joy in you for what you've done and replicate it. Money well spent is money given away to those who appreciate it. If you're okay, if you know your par level, I was trying to think about yesterday, like a new kind of human, who, as, as I described it, but it's not the really. It wouldn't work where you make sure you've got zero. And anything you make over that is always just given away wherever it's where it's needed. But you, that wouldn't put a person in a good psychological stead. You'd want a certain amount knowing that you've got a set salary and then excess. You, that's given away. Oh, really? Oh, hectic. Shame, Sierra. He's got, he's got stuff to process. Shadow work to do. And it's purely said, you know, he doesn't, it's said for your reactions. So he can get some, he can, he can feel, you know what I mean? He feels like he has some kind of control. He feels out of control in life in general, like he doesn't have any say over stuff. And so a moment where he can go say something, they can get a response. He, he, he made that response, therefore that feels good. And that's all happening below the level of cognition. He thinks it amuses him. It's really him going, ah, life hurts because I don't, under I don't understand it. Hmm. How cool is, a, is that person still here? Falafel, what's your name? Yodel, your lady, Idrisil character. Some people only thrive in chaos. Yeah, I think they do. Not really thriving. People get addicted as well to a certain par level of whatever. Joy, happiness, sadness, just and then they stick there. Things get too good for too long, and they'll literally have self sabotage. They're used to that level, it's like getting addicted to the pain body. And people are like, gotta go find the drama. Gotta go find the drama. Brandy, welcome to the live. Hilarious person. Brandy's hilarious. Da -na -na -na, sassy, steady. You. Thanks for following. I appreciate that. Get rid of him now, Sierra. Right now, cold hearted. Shut your heart down right now and say, listen, you need to go away. And I'll I'll let you know what mention this is gonna be. He goes, he'll go, what? No, no, seriously. You out of my fucking space now. He's gonna go, what? You continuously antagonize me. Am I a fucking joke to you? You antagonize me with your little variables, little things you say, and you think it's amusing and sweet and funny and cute, and it's not. It's fucking annoying. I'm a mother. I, I need to be in a positive, happy, joyful state while I raise our child. Are you growing up on the spot, or are you fucking off? Try that. Write it down. And then if he's like, 
Are you acting? Are you perform and she's like, am I? Do I need to be acting or do I need to be serious? You just double down in the performance. And then walk out the room and go, and see. And then look around, see he's convinced. Scare the shit out of him. You will literally see her. It'll scare the shit out of him. <laughs> literally. But because you're serious, you will. Lock your heart and anything that can diminish you needs to get the far away from you. You are mothership. Mothership needs to be in a 100% loving, divine condition all the time. Anything that diminishes her needs to back F up. <laughs> no, I swear too much. And uh, da, 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 da. And you'd be like, you're right. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to support the empire, not diminish it. <laughs> and then some people are like, no, Sierra, everything you just said, da 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 da, all cool, okay, he's an irritator. And then, but the other half of the time, you know what I'm saying? You go, the other half of the time, he's quite nice and sweet and he's quite funny. And the way he looks at things and da 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 da, you, yeah, you are the empire, exactly. Exactly. But you are, you are. The, your world is, 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 you're the center of it and radiate, it radiates out from you and, you know, the capital is your, are your children and, that's where the most, all the resources go and you know, the health of the capital is depending on the health of the empire. In some little rogue state, he's a rogue state, trying to up, be an upstart, trying to make itself important. It is important, you know. As a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a vassal state that's supposed to contribute to the main empire. <laughs> but then again, like I said, what he's doing Gorillas do it all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Two gorillas will be sitting there, mother, the mother and dad gorilla. And the dad will look over the mother and like push her over. And be like, <laughs> you've seen gorillas messing with each other. It's a similar thing. It's like, just get a rise out of you, you know? Just get a rise out of you. Get some emotion. Get some, you know? It's not, it's not, your, can it's not your candle's actually important. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not like, I need to encourage you. Because if you, you can encourage yourself. You know what I'm saying? There is, there is the opposite facetious truth, you know? It's not all. Evil. It's not evil at all. And in fact, you know, you know, if you, you know, if you if you look into if you look into enough of your lifetimes, the, everything that he does, you do and have done ten times more to many more people. And so my thing is, yeah, you zen it out, zen it out, zen it out, and or if you've had enough, you've had enough. I don't think you have, to be honest. I think he just it ebbs and flows. Oh, this isn't happening. I woke up this morning going, it's 1st of September, guys, we're going to really push for subscribers. Wake up, twinkle it. So, thank you so much. Wake up and twinkle. I got three subscribers in this live. It's a record. It's going to be some kind of a record. Oh, man, it was right there. Exactly. What? No, but I know that. I know he's struggling. He doesn't. He doesn't get joy. He thinks he has any control over anything outside of himself, and that gives him joy. Negative vibes raises his vibration. Is it? Sierra. At this point, you know what I'm trying to say. There's a certain kind of um. <clears throat> humor and a certain kind of strength you can get from ever being around shitty people so I don't know maybe you're trying to strengthen yourself and your, and your child but he sounds like he's a you know because I, I understand he's bullshitting himself he's literally bullshitting himself he's saying to you that the opposite of what is true is true so that you go what are you saying so that he can feel like he's got any control over his outside world. He feels control. He feels powerless. It's all, it's all sensationalist. It, if you read the Celestial Prophecy, you'll see why the four characters play the four characters. It's about energy stealing, attention stealing. Emotional, mental reactions are food to humans. We feed on emotional, mental reactions from each other. We should, should be getting that food from ourselves. Then there's an endless supply. If we do it from each other, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tug of war, basically. 
So he's, it doesn't, he's saying it, he doesn't mean that he's not present. It's his subconscious, unconscious, making up bullshit so he can feel any kind of control. And now I'm, I have to, you know, hold back the, the impulse to say, pathetic. So that's just going to make it worse. It needs to be ignored. The behavior needs to be ignored out of existence. And you can't, you can't argue it, reason with it. It's going to use your, just like the trolls in my lives. All they're going to do is double down and reverse the reflection. They're not going to go, okay, you see your point. Or I'll work with that. They're going to go, no, but you said this, now you said this, now you said this, but you said this. You contradicted yourself. Like, oh my gosh, I had a, what, I had a converse sensation. Yeah, it's going to sound like contradiction if you follow it long enough and take everything as absolute. And you sift you're an absolute. So it's not not constructive at all. But again, you gotta decide if there's still something you're gonna gain or learn from the situation. Is there anything redeemable? The answer you say the answer is no. Yes. Yeah, what is is it redeemable? What is redeemable? What's the best case scenario? You know, what is the best case scenario? He certainly has an epiphany. I was a Mormon. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> See him with his little name tag. And he writes to you every week from wherever he's sent. Him and his him and his missionary mission partner. That's the whole transformation. He promises you of two years he comes back and he'll marry you. That's so funny. I can see I can see him in a Mormon outfit with his little short shirt, with his short sleeve white shirt, with a black tie. I need, to, I need to ignore more. It's, he's gonna, but then he's going to thing up. Why don't you get, get, get out of your space? It's just funny when I feel like I want. Oh, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. That could be the whole karmic situation you set up. You basically set it up so that you are forced to embody what you know and not wait for someone else to get there first. Sarchi! Hi! Sup, Moses! Welcome to the live. Hey, there's more people here. Hmm. Video views have been so good recently. Hello! Let's see what this is. Let's see what's happening. Poppy fart! Hi! How many poppy seeds must you eat? Will like, and will they make you fat do, 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 do. He energetically tries to... Oh, yeah. So what's his... What are his redeeming qualities again, Sarah? <laughs> Wait, he has to have some. I know. No, I know. I can look at his case. He's still a blank thingy. He's still a blank thingy that if he knew himself and was pulling on the right threads, would be better than any of us. Everyone is that, potentially. And it just comes down to... You, his karma. Karma, karma isn't karma. Karma is good and bad. Everyone's is. And it leaves you not perceiving self properly. Balanced karma. That's all it's about. And then you perceive everything as it is. That's it. And then you transcend, 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 transcend. Rise above, rise above, rise above. Energetically. Become more and more magic, basically. Become, become the quantum flux. Um, yeah. And Sierra, do you see it being easy? So right now, you go ticket, lotto ticket, and there's $681 million. And now you, you go, the moment you got the ticket, you go, I got the ticket. Now you go to the bank to get it put in, and then you come home and you sit there. You don't go, hey, guess what? I got have $681 million in the bank account. He's going to go, it's mine. Hey, I get half of it. Now, nah, give it to me. You think your whole world's not going to try and fight you for it. You think about how irrational people are just over, you know, normal, you know, how irrational he is as a person when it comes to arguments. You know, you're going to go, yeah, that's all mine. Now I'm going to decide what I want to do with it. And you just got to accept that and stop arguing. And I just shush. The mo instead of turning to the ultimate fight, the ultimate shouting match, and then the ultimate get the flip out of my space. And then you can imagine how he's going to react. You know, over, it's like, you, are you trying to cut me out of your luck? I was with you when you got lucky. I'm entitled to that. It's going to be hectic, Sierra. It's going to be hectic. Just practically, on a grounded level, right here, on the earth. 
one human to another human who's irrational. You tell them you've got more millions than anyone could ever imagine. He's this close to having eternal liberation. It appears that way. Money appears to give you eternal liberation. Not eternal, but whatever this duration of lifetime is. <clears throat> Be quiet. Good, 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 good. Be smart. You box smart, eh? You box smart. You rush and you just and you calm, straight face. Nothing ever changed. You method actress at that point. You operate like a cold, cold, quiet creature. You know. Assume everyone can read your thoughts. Don't even think about them. No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, Sarah. You go off on a thing. I haven't thought in the two months. Why? Because they can hear my thoughts. I'm not going to think. Nobody knows what I don't have. Dude, what did you think? Don't have what? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> don't think nothing. No, just kidding. This place has been isolated. The thought, anything that thinks it thinks, it's, it's, it's spying on anything. It's spying on itself. da 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 Paranoia is not possible if there's no one else here. That's scary. It's like, wait, wait a minute. Is paranoia possible if there's no one else here? No, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paranoia is not possible if there's nobody but you. You need others to be paranoid or something else. And if it's all you, even the happenings, you should recognize the energy that creates the waves of any happenings that you experience. It's like, what are you going to do? Balance your karma, become an adept. Life gets easy. Well, at least your inner, your inner turmoil goes away. That's basically it. Other than that, yeah, nothing happened at all. I hire a lawyer with deals with Lotto. Tax specialist. Yeah. Because you'd have, you know, you'd have a thing in your hands. He would, you wouldn't mind that. You'd be like, listen, I'm putting a, here's a, here's a 10 million aside so I can generate cash and I'll pay maintenance. Because he's going to, you know, even if he if you if he if you it doesn't work out and he moves, you better off just handing him money, paying the rest of his life than trying to make an enemy because he's otherwise he'll make the child the the variable that forces your attention to interact with him. You're better off just making him happy. You know, it, was, it wouldn't cost much to just leave him happy. In fact, you'd probably be. I know you. You're smart. You're gonna get him to sign over full custody for a for a what for a. For a a lump sum. And record the the thing so that if she wants to see it later. That's so wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. Like, listen, I recorded it where I offered in the money. Because for her, it'll be the story of dad who happily took a lump sum to sign over custody. It, it could be traumatic. Maybe keep that. Oh, make an NDA. He's not allowed to talk about why. Shit, you'd be so powerful. You know what I'm trying to say? With that money, you'd be like, right. <laughs> you know, you can just make agreements that people will agree to. And just put, you put money behind your side of the agreement and everyone's going to go, okay, okay. I'll sign. I'll do that. No problem. You know, you send him to acting classes so that when he, when he has time with her, he acts like the perfect, the perfect dad. And you film it and give him bonuses when he's really loving and doesn't talk about hurting dogs. Dun, dun. Figure out how much I have to give. Just make him stability and home and work on a budget. I love you. She wants to lick my hand. I love you so much. Just get out of the way. Oh, you're hearing a mouth. And she's like, don't touch my hearing mouth. You didn't thank me. I'll check you. I'm, I'm grooming you. This isn't you helping me time. There it is. I got it out. Da na 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 na. Oh, I was trying to. Girl, don't you want to go somewhere else so I can get on my laptop? Yeah, but it's so much. It's so much, Sierra. It's so much. It's, it's off the charts. It's not even. It's not. Money isn't even money at that point. Money is a never ending stream of. Your, you, as long as you've got attention and, and, a, and, a, and a second in the day, you've got some money behind it. It'll. Because you take like two, take three hundred million of that and invest it in a bunch of an array of things, you got so much monthly money. It's like you could perpetually sponsor like a hundred animal shelters. It you do an entire empire out of that money. 
and it wouldn't you would never run out it would just keep it would keep just it's ridiculous that's why the billionaires can't fix this world because a person's energetic relationship with themselves is what it comes down to but you can do basic income and give a person a basic you know the planet can afford it and it'll just stimulate the whole planet's economy It's to, it would be off the thing, it would be off the thing, off any kind of measurement. It would be fascinating to, to see lotto winners, big lotto winners, lotto, I'm talking 200 million plus, to get, to find out where they are and write a book, a chapter, a chapter, a chapter, a person, to see what, the, where they end up, what happens, talk to them, like, what did you find, what was the hardest, what was the easiest, what was the strangest, you know? Like, everyone's got different th people around them that might do different things to try and get their hands on that money or what kind of psychological it was, was applied or how many people just abandoned their whole world, won the money and it just vanished. I'm gone. There may be so many interesting stories out there. Are they on YouTube handles? Oh, is that what it does, eh? Does it do that? Does it do it? Does it, do it? Does it, do it? Like, it doesn't pay it all in one go. Do you, Curtis? That's genius. So now, Curtis, why would you say that? We just Is this like an, a random wave epiphany? Or are you summing up everything we're saying? Or all of the above? No, you really are. You really are. I'm just wondering, Curtis, if, you, if you're having, like, Clarities, or if you've always been a de a deputy, you've always been a deputy. You know, leaning into an intuition, and knowing, yeah, you know, and spiritually knowing, spiritually knowing. You know what I'm saying? See, so, yeah, so I think about that in my in my world. If I win lotto, how much it actually translates to in the American world, and how many of my subscribers I would try and offer something to. Like in my world, it would be like a hundred and. 80,000 Rand to, to offer someone there $10,000. So it's like, it'd be a huge chunk for my world, but it would still, I, don't, I can think, is $10,000 enough? Like, is it, is it anything? You know, would a person go, thank you, God? Or they'd be like, oh, great, I'll pay my rent next month. Like, how, to me, America is just expensive. You try to offer something to someone and they're like, oh, that's very kind of you. I'll go and buy some, a Big Mac. I was thinking, like, how much money do I need to, what, what size does my lotto need to be where I could, say, give every one of my subscribers $10,000, that kind of thing. It would be the whole thing, basically. I could basically, for $10,000, I could basically get a house, a house here. I could get a deposit down on a house, the three-bedroom house, that kind of thing. So I'm saying, South Africa, Cape Town, people around the world, people obviously have family and friends and culture. But the world's going to start to have places that you're so much better off. Japan's a good example. I think Cape Town's a good example. Especially if, you, if you're a remote worker, if you, if you earn online. Or have a business overseas, you know, earning somewhere else. It's really the thing of, you go on holiday, usually you're broke. If you go on holiday to Cape Town, you go home with change. <laughs> you go home with extra cash. Mm. Brilliant, Curtis. It comes in ways it does, it does. Even these conversations, I just wait for the... Because of all the time there's thought, all the time there's chattering happening, and it, this, I wait for waves of it. It sums up, and then I say, and I talk, that's my talk. I, 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 like a metronome, I'm timing my themes and what I'm talking with continuous waves of energy coming from everywhere. So it's almost like I can, I can feel 99 stations at the same time. And then I, I articulate one of, the, one of the stations. Creating with purpose. Giving through some giving, some kind of like acknowledgement, honor, love, etc.
for it. I think that's where it all actually lies. In the subtlety of it all. In the subtlety of the subtlety of gratitude. To to just to realize life for what it is. The, the the perfect moment at any given moment it's a perfect moment of self reflection. That is. I still compare that knowledge, guys. Everyone here, that knowledge with not knowing that. It's a perpetual sense of gratitude, because if you, your subconscious unconscious doesn't see it, you you flipping running through broken mirrors, <laughs> you know. All your disappointment and unhappiness is self, because you didn't see it and you. <coughs> judge the self in the form of other it, to me it's huge man all the sadness and all the disease and all the shit comes from not knowing once you know you've got all the tools and it's like when you don't know you don't know that you don't know fuck man you could leave beings like that indefinitely we don't know this isn't some kind of mercy moment you know? God, how did you figure this out? Exactly. If I go look at all the variables that got this through to me, I don't know that I stimulated that into awareness. God could just have done a mercy. So listen, show them what it is. Okay, see what it is. Cool. Now that you can get you can escape yourself. Without that glimpse of it, it seems as you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't. The very mind you use to try and figure it out will just stimulate the very, the, in real time, the mirror. It's a, it's a mercy, it's a mercy. This golden age is a mercy. Karn. Because Curtis, there's, you, you can listen, why would you listen to yourself for talking back, back to friend? Unless the person's talking the literal nature of it, they're, they're just using abstract metaphor to tell you what you're thinking as you're listening it's pretty waste of exi you know i can't listen either that's it's so interesting you know that's so why you read this lesson prophecy you'll see that they're actually just in metaphor asking you what what is what is it about and they're using the subject matter to subconsciously ask what is this all about what is life everyone's looking everyone's actually asking but they're they met they're blinded by their metaphor basically And it's so good because we all expect each other to listen. So but you're going after oh, I can't listen to this. Or if you do say you can't listen, they can feel it. The person's gonna go, why aren't they listening? Why is this interesting? Wait, what am I even saying? Why do I need to say it? And so everyone has to study the self. Otherwise, technically, you don't make that connection and you're not talk a person who's only talking external to others as if they're others are actually talking to nobody. But once you've made the connection, then outside is actually inside. But until you've made the connection, I suppose it still is. It's just you your your the type of karma you're creating is chaos instead of harmony. The mind that recognizes itself creates harmony. The mind that doesn't recognize itself creates disharmony. It's that simple. So the duration of interfacing while knowing itself is going to create future harmony, basically. <laughs> la, 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 la. Now, let's see how the dollar's doing. <laughs> Woohoo! Getting stronger. Getting stronger and stronger. And XRP is right down. Yo, now's the time to buy XRP, eh? It is cheap. It's like, is that 50 cents? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit less than, like, like 53 cents uh, XRP. Just need $20 and that's enough. All right. Da -na 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 -na. Oh no. Oh no, no. Okay, actually more you'd more like a hundred and fifty dollars. Not 
like two hundred dollars. But it's all together, no more. Yeah, two hundred dollars is enough. If it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. I think so. I'm gonna share this live with you. Thanks for sharing the live, Garth. Pleasure. Sure. That's something that's never, ever, ever done a drop or done a thing. Like relative to dollar prices. I wonder if there's a... What indicates all things? You know, is there an all things indicator? What a funny concept though, you know what I mean? <clears throat> the distraction of the fact that reality is not real, and yet we, we want to gather its real things. We're gonna, you could be surreal, you could be magic. And I do believe your, your mind occupies all of its time with either or. you either always got your mind on God, Always working it, always enhancing, always learning, always, you know, balancing. Or you're, you're planning, to, you know, to set up a camp in an, in an illusion. But that's also fine. You're just trying to go camping. Just trying to get camping. This is what this is ultimately. God incarnating is God going on holiday, going camping. From God's point of view, it'll be like that. From this point of view, it may seem like camping. It may seem like survival. Another crying emoji. Is that another one of the big ones? I find out now that I can actually do my lotto through my banking app. It's quite cool. You, know, you have to go, go buy the ticket, you know. Mm, 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 mm. It's gotten so silly. The internet. <laughs> it's basically the things that trend and are on top are important. It's people. It's not what's important or what's happening. It's what everyone wants to be happening or wants everyone to think of what's happening. Which means it's n it's a tug of war over attention. So the subject matters don't matter anymore. People aren't actually, they're not doing it for substance, they're doing it for the sake of having the attention. Sean Turn! Sup, dude! You want more coffee? Let me smell coffee quickly. Sup, Chris? Good morning. I'm in spring here. This will be the only time that spring and summer touch. Northern Hemisphere is summer. You guys are in summer right now. So you'll be in, in autumn from tomorrow. I keep thinking of, I don't know why, Connecticut. Or is it Maine? Who has the best fall? I think it's, I think Maine or Connecticut. I don't know why, those places feel like 
they, they, the wind, the places that have the average lace wind in America will make the more most beautiful autumn places. The leaves changing color and falling and then no wind. So there's like a sense of, not melancholy, slight sadness, but mostly stillness. Gather one's thoughts before the winter. The last opportunity to, you know, get your stores together. and It's actually quite interesting. The psychology of a northern hemisphere person <coughs> and a southern hemisphere person. Because we're going, I think, backwards, eh? We'll go from spring to summer. Oh, no, to autumn to winter. You, oh, never mind, it's the same. I thought we were going to go backwards. Yeah, so, like, having a, a warm-up or a cool-down... You know, having a, an autumn and a spring before and after. I was wondering if there would be a difference if it was opposites, but it's not it's the same.
prepared for nothing. Mm -hmm. And then I started so, so long. Crystal! D Steel. Thanks, Sierra. Oh, DBC! It's pretty good by now. Suck, dude. Mm hmm. I don't think it's correct. What's up? Absolutely. No, Sierra. Absolutely. Absolutely, Sierra. It's continuous. It's the... Yes, when you do do it, yes. Mm-hmm. It'd be quite funny, actually. I would... You would win just for the novelty. God would... You know what I mean? Absolute creator would make you win. Just so that it'd be like, hey, Garth, nice house. Where you get it from? Uh, someone in America that I, I was psychic consultant. She won lotto, gave me a million dollars. So now I got this bigger state. <laughs> it'd be such a funny story to say like that. You say it like it's like, yeah, oh, it just fucking it happened. It happens, you know. As opposed to no, I invented a device that sold a million, and now I'm rich. I like the idea of the, I don't know, it just came to me, that energy. Funny. Literally, I'll, as God, I'll set up entire universes just to set up a joke. Or an ironic scenario. So I can laugh at creation. So, Crystal, happy Saturday night. Happy last day of summer. I'm in spring. I'm in the new season, it's quite cool. And there is a sense of greatness. The last two days, the clear's it's been, the clear's been like, the clear's been sky. I've been putting the horse before the cart. I mean, the sky's been clear. I've been putting the cart before the horse. Are you supposed to put the horse before the cart? Yeah. Stop putting the horse before the cart. Are you supposed to? Oh, carry on. <laughs> yeah, anyway, the point is it's spring and it's exciting and it's like a new fresh start and da 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 da. Yeah, technically my birthday is at the end of spring. I think it's three months as well. Three months to my birthday. I'm thinking of doing all like, you know, gym training, transformation. I'm always thinking that. <laughs> I'd love to do a, like a fast, like a one month, two month fast, get super lean, thin, and then do a progression training session. So you can do like time lapse. Grow a beard at the same time. Have you seen the trailer for the new uh, Sonic? It's a great beard. Oh, really? Would you enjoy me growing a beard again? I don't actually know any children. Sorry. I know it's dangerous. I know they're having children. Yeah. Lots of them. Oh. No. Eleven. No. I changed my name to Jebediah. <laughs> my beard and my suspect. Mm. I decided to feel different this coming winter. Do you ever have seasonal things, Karen? It's so funny, man. All I can do is confirm your feelings on this winter. This, your feelings on this winter. Seriously, uh, Crystal, Sierra, Karen, you guys, seriously. You guys are so lovely because you are, you hear talking to me, you your own brilliant same. You're your own brilliant same as me. And I can see more and da 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 and la da 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 So the fact that you're even here and talking to me is really lovely. Because Karen, you're, you're, it's talk and cheese. Your, your energetic, etherical relationships. Each, if each ether, you've got nine ethers per, per, you know, per chakra system. If each of those ethers, the way that they, how far apart they are, how demeshed, demeshed they are, trauma causes them to mesh, therefore communication, clarity of perception gets fucked. If each one of them represented an archetypal dynamic in, in all human relationships, 
which is why I say everything outside of you is a shadow of you. So you watch your etherical levels. Your the the etherical health, if you look at your Kashik between like now and a year back, it's so brilliant and good and hard and da, 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 that if I was looking at the universe's condition, it, that's the, your transformation is exactly what I'm trying to do. It's exactly what the golden age is doing. You're like an embodiment of the golden age, basically. We all are, but it's not the point. What is that? By saying that to you, I'm talking to the, the, the very dynamic that I'm talk, teaching from. You guys are, you guys are embodying the, te- the dynamic that I'm teaching from, therefore, I'm talking to the teaching, therefore, it becomes, I'm not actually doing sh- anything anymore. It's just a, uh, uh, what's it when, when the, in the church you're supposed to do, uh, c- c- you're supposed to commune, you're supposed to fellowship, we're fellowshipping, that's what it basically is at this point, a, a, a vibration, a reminder, a thingy, but it's not in any other capacity. Because of how I can see, how I can see how clear you guys are. So well done, Akarn. Congratulations, well done. Thanks for doing the work. And I'm not talking from me. I'm talking from everywhere. Thanks, Akarn. Okay. So you think? That's so cool. So Sierra, does that from all the way there goes all the way to if bringing it in, and then it went into our reality. Okay, cool. This is so far later. But that was connected to there, bringing it in to my reality. Like there wasn't something between those. Not connected, God no. Good morning. <laughs> Top of the fine day to you. Not gonna do God no. Are you do you have any <laughs> what is it? Is it masculine? What is it? What is this cactus? Is it masculine, hey? Do you have any of those cactuses? Are you growing any of those? Masculine, yeah. Pi- uh, Pyote, I think. Is that masculine? I don't know. I do not currently, okay, okay. I just happen to see a I happen to see a video on it. The guy's like, da, 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 and you can take these batten thingies, and then he basically has a whole bunch of the plants going. He was explaining how long it takes to fully grow them. They have to fully be grown, yeah, exactly. Uh, full grown, they have to be full grown, yeah, correct. And it takes a while. He says basically it's a five month, seven months turn around. But if you mass produce, it becomes viable, basically. I think, uh, what's it? Don Coyote. Wasn't there some dude? Some dude wrote a, myth, a, a mystical book. Very much that inspired. Done, done. What's up, Nico? Justin! Someone's finding you. I've heard it's good time because it tastes better than finding you. That's so funny. I love. I always love the, the, the dried mushrooms. My friend Ellen is like, it's so funny, all of us would be doing shrooms and he'd be like, mm. and like he basically do this thing, <laughs> playing with them and going, you know, and try and maybe crush them up or you put them in honey or something. Or one friend, Alan, that just doesn't not like them. I'm like, I love it, it tastes like, you know. Good morning, Amy! That's probably the best. A little jar, honey, honey, and then in there. Preserve it as well. Walter, hi. Cool, it's still early. Well, early in my world. Maybe an hour and a half, hour and twenty minutes kind of thing. And I'm definitely doing the other live later today. So you guys enjoy us evenings. And then, no, never mind. I was going to ask you guys about timing and da when you guys experience it, but I actually know the answer already. 
Dun, dun, dun. And so it's Sunday here, sunny weather, blue skies, no wind, and it's spring. It's going to be busy outside. Anyone else notice the white plastic lids for ball jars don't keep things as fresh as metal? I don't know about the, I don't know about the plastic white lids. What's a ball jar? I've never heard of a ball jar. Basically, I, I, the absolute intelligence of the universe, I can feel it working for all of you. Like, you're all, you're all just personalities, personality permeations of the one true intelligence. I can, and in the subject matter, it's mundane, jars, you know, I see, almost like God going like, what, like this, going, I don't know, like, all the subject, to be jarhead, to be in a, in a, to be a, like in a fish tank concept, and it just, life translates to me as a living library of intelligence, and it feels like everybody's highly in God, and they play the character. So, whatever circumstances arrives, they'll deal with it as if it's real. But it feels like God's always going, hey God. Because I also know what generates it. I know the calm, the balance thing, that kind of thing. It's going to make you just love people so much. Once you can see that God's actually in it all. Playing a character. And even then the, the bad characters, the irritating characters, you have to buy it. You have to pay for it with your belief. If you're like, no, this is just fabricated illusion, I'm not buying it, it suddenly becomes amusing. That's a great question. It's this one here, Sierra. It's a, so funny, so it's an ostrich feather and then a metal guy on top, you can't see it, and he has a marble in his head. So you take the metal, you know, bend it so it's a guy, so he's surfing a feather, and then on his head there'll be some, um, you know, fishing line. So I had a friend, like a hippie friend, who lives in like a tent on a piece of land, you know, he used to make those. And so I was always buying them, just like support him kind of thing. He also happened to be my 420 contact. And that was literally when me and my wife first moved in, like 2005, goes back far. And it's so funny, Sierra. Uh, there's, that's, wood, that's a wooden roof in that space. Wooden, it was like a wooden like a, a cabin, basically. Um, on a... On a artist's uh, home, estate, like a big space. And the point is we rented property from him. And on this wall, down, is a picture of um, two blue whales. That was pa a painting that we bought. So there happens to be a whale close to this thing. And the, and the whale picture, it's painting a mother, and a, mother and, a, and a baby whale. And then at the bottom it says, uh, so long and thanks for all the fish. Which is obviously hunting, uh, you know, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy quote. This past Wednesday, and still after the storm, it's crazy. Now, I remember when, I think it was Crystal, no, no, Bella, she said, has anyone seen feathers recently? That same day, I was walking and saw a white feather float past me. And so to me, it's, it's, it's still, I can trace all of the quantum back to the same thing. So she's the feather. She's her, she's me. It's still God, it's still the mind of God saying that it can see around time and space. Ball. Okay, that's a ball job. Oh, there's the white, there's the white lids you're talking about. I wonder what that is, why it doesn't keep it as sealed. I wonder if, it's, if, you're, if you're supposed to always put like wax paper to seal it, or it doesn't seal. That's my intuition, Karen. How do we do with wax? You use you know, ball jar masons, cleaning, or jellies, exactly. Like you can't just seal it, you have to put a wax, a wax, uh, and then you've done that, and it still leaks. Weird, hey? I love being psychic. It's so, just, not the, not the part where you help people know themselves, <laughs> which is nice, but the part where you just, it's practical. Like, I could pick up on that, the, the wax story. And I, I don't know that stuff, Karen. I don't do jams, I don't know jars, I don't know wax. I just, I, 
it reference back to when my grandfather used to pour wax. He would melt wax and pour that on top of the of the jam. My grandfather, you know, old school, had like thirty fruit plants in his garden. He was continuously processing his shit. <laughs> it's weird. I can feel Nirvana playing it. So it, it is a flow, you're learning that flow, that, that, that state. It's not, it's, you know, it's actually not actually flow state. It's, it is, it's knowing flow state the same. It wants you to learn that feeling, Sierra. Because then you can, it's not so much about you knowing the feeling, it's about you becoming secondary awareness when you're interacting with someone. To what degree are they familiar with that? You're becoming very familiar with it, both where, whether it's, generating from you or from somebody else and what proportion is coming from somebody else. You're being fine-tuned, it's fine fine-tuned calibrated at this point, Sierra. As in right now your guys would just say, tell Sierra to breathe all the way in and all the way out. And now you do do your breathing exactly. It's never, it's never too much to stop. Things things sink. Things sink when you stop and breathe. Invisible energies, basically. Mia Gibbs, hello. And then Karen, what do you, what jams, what, I mean, what do you do, what jar, what are you putting in jars? What are you, are you making jams? Yeah, what are you putting in jars? Marmalade. Hmm. What did Crystal say? What? I found it difficult to inhale through the nose on the whole print. Okay, I went back now, Crystal, and read that. <laughs> oh, awesome! Oh, Karen, would you would you would you send stuff overseas? Do you sell? You know what I'm saying. Where do you sell? Is it word of mouth? You do want to also, yeah, Sierra, you also want to like put it to rest, so to speak, not not think of it, so that it can incubate and actually uh, develop. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Dog walking is lucrative. And it's no, it's st stress wise. When it comes to not having, you know, strings, attached strings, as far as the carefree business is concerned. Mm, not collecting garden. Have you also got what's yours? Is yours also like the six hundred and eighty one kind of thing? Mm, 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 mm. Which is why I say way back to the dog walking thing. It'll just generate cash for you basically. And there are a few other ideas as well. That are just easy solutions that you know will work and you got to reinvent the wheel. Although Wow. I haven't even heard of Goldenrod. I 
I'm here with lemon balm. No ways. A few animals and test tube studies suggest goldenrod may help reduce inflammation, relieve muscle spasms, fight infections and lower blood pressure. In fact, act like a diuretic and is used in Europe to treat urinary tract infections and prevent... Tr you know, it's like, nature, hello, excuse me, you know, like, did you know? It's like, yes, my grand new, that kind of thing. Everything has has a per like that kind of thing. Everything does something, and it's like, why wouldn't we, as a species, obsess over this? You know, ridiculous. It's a it's a pharmacy. It's a giant pharmacy. Nature's a giant pharmacy. Dandelions and so nutritious and because it's inconvenient. I'd rather go to the pharmacy and pick up my shit. Oh, especially we wanted to humans wanted to specialize, so we couldn't all be general. We couldn't all be polymath generalists. It's quite interesting now that we've specialized. We've built the internet, and a whole bunch of other specialized interest areas. Now we can polymath the shit out of ourselves. That's a fascinating one. And then, and then, and then, Karen, do you do you sell? Is it word of mouth, or do you mostly make it for yourself? Figuring out. Oh, okay. That's funny. Cause I, I, I got that there was no, there wasn't conflict in the word fighting that one out. You don't see it as a... What is vanilla bean? It's stinging nettles. What is lemon balm doing? Lemon balm is fascinating because it looks like it looks like a mint. Lemon balm has mild sedative and anti. Oh, really? In activities in vitro. So it's also for, it relieves anxiety. It can relieve it's like like depression. Okay. And obviously you can put lemon drop you can put the lemon balm drops in your bath as well. I don't know, some part of my being saying the subtlety of it all is way more potent than potent. Like your body's a a very hmm, sensitive instrument. And it's and all of these subtleties and all these herbs and all these things do affect you. And then it's like we're very gross, not gross, like it's disgusting, in our in our intake, our 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 entertainment, our it's very uh yo, thank you. A little more conversation, a little more action guaranteed. I still need to share the one that Amy gave me of that. Thank you so very much. That's my favorite gift at the moment. XJ, thank you. I love that one, Amy. I actually got two. You give me two that I haven't posted yet. We do that new readings today, and I'm posting my gifts after that. The ones that I've had since then. Um, and there's nobody. And then yesterday, the video was the actual scene where Elvis actually sings a little less conversation on my for you page. Lots, lots, Sierra. Uh, do you put your feet on actual grass? Do you barefoot? Have you barefooted? You know. So that's so your thing. The smile, you know, the smile thing. Um, the subject matter, reading any books on this stuff. Um, you could read this. Yeah, if you haven't read the, the, the um, Disappearance of the Universe, there's a whole reading list. Because it's all the same topic <laughs> from another angle, basically. Um... Meditation. Meditation. Do you see that one meme? It's like a spiritual starter pack, uh, which is like ayahuasca, uh, shadow work, all those terminologies. And then it's like um, advanced one, uh, daily meditation practice. Are you worth it? 
You know, that's what it comes down to. You say to yourself, am I worth the time? Am I worth the consistency? Because the rewards are, yes. Nothing less than divine, and a divine introduction to your true nature. It's a, it's a, a refined topography that all the talking in the world won't get across to you, other than your direct experience of your divinity through meditation. Become a meditation expert. Start charging people courses to teach their meditation. There's pokey bits in the stupid dry grass outside. Ow! That's so funny. I'm just in my, in my mind now thinking of the last time I ran on grass that was dry and. Ah, ooh, ee, ah. I always go, always go, ooh, ee, ah, ooh, ah. I, mean, I exaggerated basically. But basically what I'm trying to say is your actual shoes and the ground itself. It, you regularly must shoes must come off must must walk on the ground. Which is fine. Rocks are great too. It's just it's just another thing added. You can look at it here, you can go look on the internet and say uh, vibration raising activities and then vibration dropping activities. And then just get creative with whatever is in the list of you know. I'd say no. I'd say no. I'd say meditation, become a meditation expert all the time. Every day you want to meditate. You want to learn to still the mind, da, 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 um, study your inner subtleties. And charge people. So teach meditation to people. Because then it's a double-edged sword, it's the money, but you, you basically just want to dabble in meditation, you want to dabble in the self, in, the, in, your, in your own... Being still, you don't have to hold intent. Being still is more important. All the things you think you want will come to you if you're in a state of stillness. Because stillness indicates content, contentment. And therefore, the things that should make you content will arrive. Oh, really, Amy? That's interesting. Is it from a, is it from a tickling point of view, or is it just uncomfortable in general? I was thinking of a friend of mine. She had uh, sausage dogs, and they couldn't run on the grass without like giggling because the, the the grass would tickle their tummies. So whenever they ran on the grass, they'd be like, <laughs> like the dogs were almost like laughing. Uncomfortable. That was like a gross feeling. Hey? In this car, and it's interesting, and then that just triggered a memory from the first family picnic. I remember putting out, we put out a big blanket, and I remember sitting and going, ah, some of the, some of the dry grass stuck through the blanket. Mmm. Have you played that game, the Ant Colony game? It's pretty bad. Sup, Mark? You seen, Sierra, that one video where you're in South America? It's the fire ants. It's, you know, it's part of your, um, a male initiation program. I think you have to put your hand in it. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a weave. It's like a weave of, like, you know, leaves or whatever and then there's the ants are inside and you have to put your hand in it and you have to wear it for like five minutes or they bite the shit out of you it's like the most painful like it's on a an eight on a thingy scale out of ten there's like a pain scale where birth is seven oh my cat is adorable i want to go this on the on the on the thing she can sense the sunshine Adorable are you, girl? How adorable, she says. Is she literally playing it up now? She's like, ah, I bite on the, on the little string that hangs. I got this to it. What is it? I'm adorable. That's what it is. It's called a string, but it's also called I'm adorable. Uh, I'm seeing this. I think 
think so. Yes, I think so. It's like a mantis shrimp. I'm just thinking about animals that'll, excuse my language, F you up. <laughs> it's like, I went for a walk, mantis shrimp broke my foot. <laughs> you know, it's like literally a tw um, the bigger ones. It's the same equivalent punch as a 22 bullet. Little mantis shrimp. And then the, the, bo the part of the thing that does the punch, that does the thing, literally gives off light. It literally collapses a bubble. I think there's a, it's a nitrogen, I think nitrogen creates a nitrogen collapse. It's like almost, it's, so basically it creates a, pla it creates a plasma state to, to punch. It's like, I'm God and I'm manifested as a, as a mantis shrimp. Don't make me punch you. I'm editing a wild video. Flying as Vega City. Nevada. Is there a neon glow to them? Like a blue magenta aesthetic. Sierra, I think the best, <laughs> cheapest, is um, uh, Gronk. There is purple and blue. Amazing. Um, Gronk, $8 Twitter. I'm just saying because it also puts you into the payment program and then you must just do some quick homework on how to, how to post. Um, and the right hashtags, so that you your if you post your music there, Gronk, it's the AI attached to X, and it'll make videos. So you can make video, you make it can make any of the AI stuff you want, really good. Um, it's cheaper than anywhere else, and then you have the opportunity also to earn money off TikTok, off Twitter. And don't have a bad attitude about how easy it is. It's very easy, because it's as simple as if you have a good strategy comes down to impressions and to you know to generate a thousand dollars or five hundred extra dollars on the side from your posts and then promote your music and then make music videos and then you go find all the people that are in your genre universal genre you make sure you follow them and you tag them and they'll retweet and it's how much is it you ever spend eight dollars on a lottery ticket it's the same thing. You'd be basically spending one month gambling on yourself, getting that right. And then the key would be to make more revenue than the eight dollars. And then you find then you usually break even. Some lotos you don't win that, that twenty dollars back or whatever. I'm downloading stock off of Envato. Okay, I hear what you're saying. And yeah, there and there'd be lots of stock, yeah, 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 yeah clever. You, you don't think it's awareness with no words. It's an all knowing. And the more you meditate and sit in that state, the more it's like a natural thing. It actually becomes offensive to think words. It's a less pure perception. We are habits. We're, we're like trees that have been had, that have had certain prevailing winds. We've had prevailing winds, psychological winds. And through bending the tree in the opposite direction, it's the same as by sitting still, you're, you're bending it so that it, its natural state is straight. Or silent still. Mark, thanks for sharing. But it's, it's funny because it's, it's like then you're happy and then you're like, wait, I need a reason to be happy or I need a reason to just be joyful in my natural condition that I'm not thinking. You see, it's all about permission stuff. Bashar talks about it. Getting the confidence to be happy and I need a reason for it. The rational mind. The world will tell you otherwise. But anyway, you're never wrong.
Amy, I'm just looking into how you're resonating your world. As if you imagine Amy in parallel Amy, look into parallel Amy, who. Nope, people are people. They're responsible for themselves. Well, things aren't fair, and they're also fair. And if you were a chaotic, chaotic version of yourself, who who um you put this you put so much to rest. You let thing you let sleeping thingies. You rise above on, in so many moments, and you do it because of the knowledge of what it all is. If you didn't have that knowledge, you would take the bait. You know what I'm trying to say? Unconsciously, and then. You're holding space being you. Like in this thing, you're holding space for every single piece of person that knows you. There's, there's no, they've got no greater opportunity it's to spontaneously get it. That's what your tears get class, exactly. Exactly. And I just, chalk and, it's chalk and cheese, the comparison, the comparing the two timelines here and there. And not there, two years ago, there's, I can see the you here that just doesn't get it. There's another, in another timeline. It's, and it's very much, even in that one, he gets it slightly more and tries to work with it. He tries to work with it because he's been reading some self-help books and you just don't want to hear it. You're like, oh, you just, you know, you just like this. You just, you say to him in that world, you just like the sound of that stuff. You don't actually practice it because in the past he hadn't. You're not giving it a chance to, in that case, you're not giving it a chance to reset. Here, you're, you're the perfect example of a reset, the chance to let everyone reset. Hear his higher self just heard that. So I, I like the idea that you can't talk about or think about anybody without them actually being aware of it on some level. So when I meditate, I should focus on the sensation around me breathing or just breathing. I'm gonna tell you in your in the in the channeling. Um you wanna focus on that sensation through the nostrils. The sensation, because the sensation actually isn't the wind or the nostrils. It's actually the space between your physicality and the air, which is spirit. So you want that by focusing on that sensation, you can't think thoughts. You can't think, "Hi, I'm a guy." As long as you're focusing on the sensation and then on the out breath, same on the sensation, and then obviously one, you know the thing of one in breath where you're not thinking because you're focusing on the sensation. The out breath's not gonna, you're not gonna want to think. And then what's gonna happen is after a couple of rounds of breathing without thinking, it's gonna feel like you've fallen into a into a quiet pool. You, you fall into deeper stillnesses. Critical mass. And then you fall into a deeper stillness. And each of that deeper stillnesses gives your mind a, 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 a crispness. A crispness of perception. All phenomena, functionality becomes this. It, it translates, your brain translates it as all phenomena is the same happening simultaneously in different places. Oh, hectic. Okay, so you know she did, but she still got back to you. Amazing. And then Crystal, what did she say? Did she say? Was she, did, she, did, you, did you put effort into be pleasant? Give her, give her some credit. <laughs> Take talking to your higher self's help in not reacting. Amy, thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thanking me. You're the genius who applies, but I know what you mean for the insight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, I'm just grateful that I have the insight. So I don't know who to be grateful to or to who to... I can't take a thanks for something that I can trace back to you in another eternity. You thank me here, I thank you there. Yo, Aaron! Cheers, bro. Aaron, I put a little bit of hot, hot chocolate in with the coffee to make it sweeter. Here we go, bro. Sup, sup, sup. Don't need none of this going to waste. Okay, you sense it would take over three days to build her thingy to that. Yeah, I'm big, I'm big. But did, but did she, you know, was she trying to be pleasant? Does she take you texting her? You just sound super psychic, Crystal. Does she take you texting her as a, oh right, Crystal's, you know. Does she acknowledge that you reached out? And you say, it seems so. Don't be cynical. <laughs> you're not, I know you're not. You're saying what she's saying. Because she's saying that as well. It's, it's like the kids are, your kids are going, 
So mom this, and then grabs like, it seems so. I think she doesn't hate me. That's what your mom's thinking. You, oh, you'd be surprised how, how self-critical parents are, Crystal. I'm trying to give her some softness so you can feel it, so she can feel it and feel less defensive. So reach, so reach me. It is Sierra, but it's also the cosmic drama. So when you do, it's okay, but try not to. Try not to act from ego, but it's okay when you do act from ego. You, you can either reflect or absorb. If you're acting from ego, you're reflecting. It's all you can do in life. Absorb or reflect. And ultimately, you want to transmute everything. All the things you're either reflecting or transmuting. I mean, reflecting or absorbing. But ultimately, it's all you and you want to transmute it all. Through understanding. Have all, uh, have all or most of us here a self-shared past life? Every single 100%, Amy. Amy, you meet nobody you don't know. In life, you don't nobody from the person who you regularly you got a milkshake from twice at that McDonald's and you rec and you you both acknowledge each other more than not, you would have had a another kind of version of that crossover, um always always always, and some of us would have journeyed together we would have pilgrimage together some of us would have spent eighty years in it in a Tibetan temple together, there's nothing but that, lots and lots of stories that's why when it comes to you. And your current, yeah, and your charisma, you know, I've seen you guys journey. It's, it's like watching like a, a music montage and through worlds. And then like, here we're a shopkeeper. Or, or a, and then you happen to be the thing that supplies. You, you've been, you've been gay lovers who've been murdered by the village because no, there are no gays in the village. 27% of them are gay. But anyway, <laughs> they keep it below the surface. So you, you, you've had so much emotional drama shared. You, you've, you've saved places from plagues together. You, you know, it's insane. It's insane. It really is. It really is. Oh, I thought it would be the other way around. Absorbing, reflecting. Yeah, you could do either. You can absorb or reflect. Or reflect or absorb. Yeah, yeah. Why? That's like a different. What do you mean? Other way around. It can be the other way around. You can absorb or reflect. Or you can reflect or absorb. It's the same thing, say back or front. Meaning, I smell the fear is all. Meaning, I smell the fear in all. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I hear fear is a funny thing. Fear actually is my the degree to which I can love myself. Like how like you can measure it by how much fear is still there. Cause 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 you, intelligence, intelligence, divine intelligence can be intimidating. No, I'm not afraid. Intimidating. Okay, intimidating. It's fear. It's intimidation is fear. Your own great nature intimidates you. Hence, you're afraid of your light. So you've got to get used to calibrating to the new, stat the new status, the golden age status. Absorbing, wanting to be eager, reflecting. Oh, no, 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 no. No. All is you. All is high. So, so whatever it is, that can be reflected, or it's you're the universe. Eventually, you're going to be perpetually transmuting because you'll decide what you mean by everybody. You won't let them decide anymore. There is no, there never was a them. It was a comic misunderstanding with yourself and others. Yourself, yourself, and yourself. Because if someone says, "God, you idiot," and I go, "You idiot," I'm reflecting. If someone goes, God, you're an idiot. I'm like, yeah, you're right, but I'm not real. You're the idiot for talking to God. Talk to my, talk to God. I'm listening. Wait, did I absorb or reflect there? <laughs> you can do combinations. I feel like I'm holding. Randy. Melissa is the name of 
plan. Melissa Mint Melissa Mint Lemon B brush. They're all part of the same family, basically. Interesting. <laughs> Try and please me. <laughs> always forever until there is no self because the thing that's reflected is using light and consciousness and sound so light and sound can get transcended through a singularity through bal infinite balance infinite balance infinite balance that's the escape route and the access to more potency when it comes to whatever you hold true is true hence if you hold true on you then it has to become true. Eventually there's no becoming, it's instant. All is as you hold it true. We're working towards that. So all is self until all is transcended. You look into the all self through the right path, you transcend through the left path. And you probably find later on it's going to be a thing of you go right path to expand and encompass the universe. You go left path to contract and dissip dissipate out of the universe, singularity out of the universe. It's exactly what it is. The Palladians just said it's exactly what it is. Cha-cha slide. That's so good. Palladians. You know Palladians actually used that phrase in a channeling like 2002 cha cha slide and that was before i think the song came out so when it became a thing i was like wait didn't the palladian say that and even master ching hai said cha 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 she's talking about how simple it is to align cha 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 she goes cha 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 just cha 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 it's amazing crystal amazing that's super soul so the part of you that inspires to just randomly say that is you super soul it's the way I try and talk from, basically. So that you trigger a lot of people's synchronicities. And they think that it's magic. It is, though. I like to be cynical about divine magic. It's funny. If I'm cynical about divine magic, the people who are listening who are, are cynical, I beat them to the punch. And then they end up laughing at their own cynicalness. Because they see it reflected in me first. Am Sierra, have you started uploading all your content yet to YouTube and all the different social medias? You have do you have capitalist internet first of all? Because you could do that. Start making a lotto just every day. Lotto and also abundance meditations. Financial abundance meditations. There's a lot of people out there who want financial abundance. They'll listen to your meditations and you can have financial abundance. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm going to teach you how to teach you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make a business out of making a business. Sounds like a Ponzi scheme. Everything is. Everything is a pyramid scheme. Reality is a pyramid scheme. It's a, you know, the whole energy, last shape it takes is a pyramid. It's built out of nothing on top of it. It stacks nothing on nothing. Gets you, gets you invested in your reflect because your reflection is there, so you invest. You got, it's, it's like you got a. Hmm, never mind. I think you got. It's got a mastery. I mustn't. If I say this or that, it's actually both. It's mastery. Mastery is this and that. I mastered, not this or that. If pain and illness bring my up inside, pain and illness. They're 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 simultaneous. Um, they're simultaneous. There's, it's a bounce back echo. The illness and the panic and the panic and the pain and the anxiety. And it's all about all four of those variables. Panic, anxiety, illness and pain. Panic, anxiety, illness and pain are, the, are variables. Are they, it's a union jack. It's, a, it's X marks the spot. In fact, by getting to the center, 
you'll, all of them will transmute each other. Anxiety will stop by being in the center. So anxiety is not being centered. It's you've scattered in the past and the future. And you're doing it because of previous pain experienced. Which will then cause disharmony, which creates the illness, which then you panic in it. In an ill state, you lose contact with your true self. More, you lose contact with self. Less, you have less contact in, this, in that state, so you panic. This is what fear is. Belief that you that what is temporary is permanent, and that's what and you and you're limited, and it's the opposite. What's temporary does not affect you, and what is eternal is you. So all of those things can be remedied by being still, and yeah, by being still, being present. Horseradish, that's so good. I've been thinking about horseradish. Uh, uh, horseradish, yeah, yeah, red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so awesome. It's be so fun. And, and then, Erin, do you ever make like pestos and stuff? Like basil and basil pesto. Mm, mm, mm. Sierra, that is, you've got, you've, you've got energy that does flow out of your hands. Funny enough, two stars. You technically have the sun and the moon in your hands. Um, and you do, you know, you, you are a healer, you've got good energies. It's a, it's a lot, it's a, it's a spectrum. It's a spectrum of things to say. I don't know what, what part I need would be beneficial. Sierra, do you ever do the thing where you do this with your fingers and then you look between your fingers? And then do this. You should see energy between the two fingers. And you and you by doing this, and then by going up and down, you'll see that line between the two fingers. Amy? Do you know when you choose to do this? It's just that simple. It's just that simple. You can't do that enough for yourself. It's the same as petting a cat. You're petting your human by going... Taking a gentle, loving in-breath while gently smiling. You're saying, I'm okay, and the things that concern me don't have to be concerned. Because the things that concern you have a life of their own. Uh, uh, fellowship to them. Fellowship to the abstract energies, as if they were thought forms that were trying to feed. Nurture them out of existence. Because that's what you're doing to yourself. You're, you're transcending. We're nurturing ourselves out of existence. We're nurturing the false idea. We're loving ourselves to death. <laughs> We're loving our false selves to transcendence. Death, life, and spectral. It's pulled out of its very, yes, it's the very concept. Notice how con is in the word sept. <laughs> An inconceptional. Thank you, thank you, Amy. Oh, everyone do this? And, uh, wait, is Curtis here? Curtis, are you here? I want to, not pay. <laughs> everyone must give Curtis a dollar when I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. A subconscious, unconscious, and conscious resetting is this. Look at this. Take your hand, put it like this, thumb forward. You're going to notice if you turn your hand, it stops right there. It's an exact right angle. If you turn your hand in, it's an exact right angle. The thumb that comes in here and the, and the pinky, that, it's exactly. Your, your, your whole arm bends like a, like a DNA strand, but its stop point is exactly this, back to front. Um, if you do it this way, as far as it can go, it's directly, your hand stops at exactly front. So you've got a right, perfectly, a perfect 90 degree angle between taking your wrist and bending it like this, 
and taking your wrist and bending it the other way. It'll go straight in front of you. Now, by doing that, by going like this, hold for three seconds. You must hold it and it, it, it'll stop right there you by bending it. You're holding that tension point. And then reverse the other hand. That is literally a subconscious, unconscious, conscious resetting on the physical body. It's the same as T-touch. You get T-touch, which is where your body is a hologram of the universe and your mind. So by tapping on certain joints, you're resetting the mind. You're toning the mind back to its harmonic, natural state. There are lots of these practices, but this one is so good. You do it once, each hand, and then forget you've done it and just carry on with your day. How can I practice? Exactly that. See, I answered you in advance, Sarah. So I don't know if that question came up before or after I started explaining that to you. Do that thing with your hands quickly. You'd be surprised. Your body, is, your body is so easy to label, meaning your five fingers are your five senses mirrored. I'm perceiving and I'm being perce perception and projection simultaneous. So you are, and you, your forearms, I reach out into creation with four, before, and then my bicep, my dualism, and my tricep, my triangulations, my trinities. Your body is literally a, a macro, micro map of the universe. So what you do to your body, you do to your mind. What you do to your mind, you do to the body and the soul. What you do to the soul, you do to the body and the mind. So you can invent alignment practices. That's what all of the spiritual shit is. All the yoga, all the reiki, all the tea touch, uh, tai chi. All the martial arts are that as well. They're not fighting things. They're universal conscious uh, harmonizing practices. Listening to playing with a tuning fork, tuning, singing bowls, uh, so working with certain essences, fragrances, that will also tone the mind. That's, I think it's money, I'm pretty sure it's money. Money's coming, or you're giving money away, same thing, it's going to be both. Receiving money. It's receiving money. <laughs> no, it was actually itchy, okay? Like, it's actually... See, it's even red over there. It was actually itchy. It's just... Uh, have one of these. Like, just, you know, what's that? It's, not, it's, a, it's a sour worm, but it's actually a bag of itchy powder. With your left hand. It's actually a $100 note covered in itchy powder. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Ah, it means you're going to get money right now. Go on handing, go on handing out $20 notes with itching powder all over it. Stay cool. I'm going to log off pretty much in the next like six minutes or so. I've got readings to do. And I'll do like a live again later. To know you. Would you go on holiday and stuff? No, you probably just play home with money. Play home, make, get the home, enjoy ordering things and decorating and getting pretty things. Just so you would slow down. You would take you'd leisure. I was thinking, would you go overseas or not? And it's like no, no. You would set up a a a, a base and a, a nurturing nest. It could be a fungal infection. <laughs> it's like Doc's it's like, it's a fungal infection. No, no, I'm gonna get money. No, you're not, it's a fungal infection. No, my, my psychic says I'm gonna get money. Doc's like, you got a psychic? He's like, yeah, yeah. Is it got two on seven on TikTok? Yeah, yeah, it's the same guy, it's amazing. 
Anyway, it's definitely a, it's definitely a fungal infection. <laughs> like, no, nope, I don't care. I don't care, leave it. I get home situated first. No, you would, you would, you would, you would. It'd be too much fun. You know, I'd be able to order any any toys, anything. Anything you want. And you have a sense of it. I can, I can actually sense that. You better off than... I'd be okay. I'd be okay. <laughs> he says with a weird voice. But you actually be better off with a, with a lot. You, you would actually handle better. You've been ridiculously rich in other lifetimes. It actually will come quite naturally to you. Some people get more ridiculous when they get lots of cash. Some people actually get more sensible and more quiet. And more more knowing. You don't have to convince anybody you know. So now you just know. Cool. You rise above it. You also with what's his name? Aurora. There's a chance, you know, he wouldn't actually take anything for to to give up full custody, and then you wouldn't you wouldn't you would then just go okay cool I'm gonna sort him out so that by default, Aurora's world is comfortable and nice. Hmm. Yeah, I know you're not blushing. I know. No, there's essence, the essence of things, you value that. It's not just what the thing looks like. What the, you know, what the, what the overall, what everyone, what the gen, what the sense's opinion of a thing is. You are looking beyond, you are looking beyond the veil. No, we, we, I'm, I'm sitting here talking to a world that's gone and gotten amazing and beautiful and loving while well, I've been talking. <laughs> I've been talking and the world's gone and got, gone and got perfect. People are... People are gold heartening. People are being introduced to themselves. And once that happens, you've got divine beings running around. God's got this. When I say God's got this, I'm, I'm, I'm nodding to all of our energy, all of that divine alignment in all of us. This is a dream or still. There's another aspect of us that isn't dreaming, that knows that it's just designing all of this. This is still a lovely, lovely little, a lovely little back and forth dream. Wash the fellowship of his hands. Oh, hectic! That's a fascinating, Karen. That is fascinating. God is good. <clears throat> I'll leave it at that. I feel, it's so funny. The more you learn this stuff, you just go straight back to end up talking like straight up Christian. Like, God is good, eh, guys? I'm talking to the, you know, it's only way you can nod to all of this at the same time. All of this, this knowing, this stuff, the, you know, divine stuff. But to sum it up, all in one go, the only way you can say is God is good. Where can I sign up and get ridiculous wealth in this lifetime? Amy, get your tickets. Is Nirvana anything like that? Is it my tribe in the heaven thing? Thing is, no one here isn't going to fall into ridiculous money and not give it more. To, you know, like, like none of us, we're all so out ridiculously altruistic. If we got into crazy money, everyone here would, would sort everyone out to a degree. We would all basically be generous. There's, you read about it. There's guys that have been stopped. Groups that get together. Psychics that get together to make to make lotto wins. They And they get stopped. Like, you can't gather and do that. So yes, we can. <laughs> he was terrified. Oh, it was a terror. I thought it was a spiritual thing. Karen, I was like... He probably a very wise man and understood that the church was dogmatic and it's really just, you know, he's like, I'll, 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 their, their par level of not, this knowledge isn't good enough. I'm going to wash my hands when I get home, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Is that how it works, eh? So you don't you when you win that big number. It's... Oh wait, 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 wait. Is that per per year? Five million per year. So if you win the six hundred, you don't actually win the six hundred. Can you get a can you get a loan on it? You know, can you go? I want half a million. I mean, half a billion. And the bank goes okay, and you just use your monthly payment to pay or pay it back. You know, if you win six hundred and eighty one million, you don't get six hundred eighty one million put in your bank account. You don't pay tax on that, do you? Because here there's no tax on the lotto winnings. You choose between the cash value, oh, and then do you think the, the annuity amount, if you're around for 50 years, is more? And what it is, 35 years, how long do you have to live for the annuity amount to be more than the, ca the cash value? I'm sure there's an equation, a mess, you know. I'm sure there's a formula. I'm sure there's an algorithm. There is no algorithm! I know, it's all divine matrix. All things are all things at all times. There's a styling on the roof, corner of the roof. The universe is the corner of itself, and it's on its own, and sitting on top of itself, pondering itself, inside itself, through itself. There's a federal tax, but Texas doesn't have a state. Very clever, Sierra. Because it isn't the ultimate answer in life. Meaning, meaning being sensible. It's like if you go, oh, I've got 600, I can do all these great things for all these people and, and, and make a splash and help the shelters and da 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 da. It's like, that's all very cool, but everyone's still on their own journey, you know what I mean? So it's like, yes, you can help and da da da. da. But it doesn't solve all of the problems if a whole bunch of money gets given to everybody. Because a lot of people are still on their self discovery journey. It could become a distraction. You know what I'm trying to say. You, it's, it's not like having money or not having money means you will or won't discover yourself. You'll discover yourself regardless of what you do and don't have. And this is what the main reason for life is. So the main reason is happening. So which means you, it's not on you to be the thing to everyone. Just Because you want balance. You don't want to go too extreme. And, you know what I mean? And you also want the other thing we got to what everyone's everyone is everyone else's own problem. You want to go too far there, and you don't want to go too far. I'm the one that has to sort everyone out. Because actually, there is nobody. Awesome. That's you still invest in circular economy. It'd be cool getting the part where you get the where you get the accountant, and your accountant says, "Listen," and you intuitive, so you're gonna know if your accountant's like, you know, and so he'll go, he'll go like, "Listen, you do one of this, you want to set up a trust. Trusts are better. That way, there's no taxing on the trust. You get a good dude, a good person who's like knows their thing basically, and they're like, "Yes, and you do want multiple sources. You do want this. Don't do that. It's not a thing." Cool, I'm gonna log off now ish. Yeah, now. Instead, you'd be a. What's it? A, a fiduciary investor. Is that what it's called? Fiduciary investor. Pretty cool. So, like any, you know, movie stars, people who get big money. If they do what's. And musicians, if they do what's right, they go get themselves a. A good investor, basically, a fiduciary investor. Competent people who work with their money instead of, you know, yeah. You too, Amy, have a beautiful one. Jess, as well. Sweetest dreams. Amy, you right back at you, hey? Huh? Mm. 
And there's a sense, there's a sense of magic, sense of subtle magic happening. Cool. See you guys later. Stay amazing. Arrivederci. Sayonara. Avida Zen. Tot scenes. Bye bye. We are gonna get rich, Sierra. We're really rich because we have each other. Now get in the dumpster and get us some food. That's from Jim Carrey's thing. It's like, when I was 15, we became homeless. But we were living in Canada, so I thought we had gone camping. My dad used to say, we're rich as long as we have each other. Now get in the dumpster and get us some food.